Hello, well here I am, back on the ninth floor of the Beehive in the Prime Minister's office and we've had the general election, what a remarkable result that was for National. Scoring the biggest uh, party vote we've had since uh, MMP's inception in New Zealand, um, the largest party vote National has had since the 1951 waterfront strike and when you think about the increase in vote, uh, such a large vote to receive in government is virtually unheard of. I think three times in our history in the last 120 years the ruling government's vote has actually gone up. Um, and uh, from National's point of view, the times we've had very, very big results outside of 1951 were 1975, 1990 and 2008, and all of those were coming from opposition. So the long and short of it is um, a great result for National on the night. I do want to take this opportunity to thank everyone that supported National. Everybody that helped us in our campaign, those many thousands of people who delivered pamphlets and put up billboards, spoke well of us, supported our MPs, gave us money and generally um, assisted us in getting over the line. It was quite a torrid campaign. Campaigns always are. You know, the reality is that uh, there's always um, something quirky or unusual that happens that consumes a fair bit of media time and this time was um, no different. Um, but overall I thoroughly enjoyed the opportunity of talking to New Zealanders and I think we presented a very clear choice. Um, we provided stability going into the future. Uh, we had a clear sense of the economic challenges that New Zealand faces. We talked a lot about the need to reform welfare, get back into surplus and of course promoted our mixed ownership model. And I know that was an issue that um, caught the minds of a number of New Zealanders and indeed many had concerns. But I think overall we'll see a program of mixed ownership that will be well received by New Zealanders in practice. It's one of those things where um, the fear factor is much, much greater, I believe, than the reality. And so uh, when that happens, it'll be very much like in New Zealand, where we look at it uh, very fondly as um, a great company, as our company, even though we don't own 100% of it. So that's really the story there. Uh, we've got a good intake of new MPs, a number of retirements, so you had a number that uh, came in uh, replacing those retired MPs, and we added to our majority over the, uh, over the course of the campaign. So 60 MPs now, big caucus. We were in the process of doing our negotiations with um, the other parties. We've met with United Act and the Māori Party, and good progress is being made. I'm absolutely confident that the deal will be con concluded with United and ACT and hopefully uh, by the latter part of the week. In the case of the Māori Party, a little bit more work to be done, but again, I'm you know, optimistic that we will get a deal achieved. So that's sort of really about it. We have a few weeks while we go through this caretaker phase. Eventually the special votes will be counted. They are announced on the 10th of December. The writs can be returned on the 15th of December, um, although it's always possible for a recount, so likely Parliament will be back the week after that. We need to have a session before Christmas to avoid ourselves having to come back in the middle of January. And then from there, assuming we have a nice Christmas break and um, back into it sort of uh, early to mid-January, we'll have a period where we swing through to Ratna and uh, Waitangi and either the start of Parliament before or after that, depending on when the Leader of the House sets that, for what will be a busy 2012. So thank you for watching um, this video and also all of the, the networking media that we put out there. And thank you for your support one more time um, and look forward to Furthermore of these chats in the weeks, months and indeed now, years ahead.